Okay, let's do a little skit up uh, Witherspoon Street. This is Avalon, the Avalon sculpture. And at the very far end is Nassau Hall, the cupola. So I'm gonna shake the uh, camera and then start up the street. Okay, we're on our way. This is about 1.30 on Thursday, the 26th, and it's totally quiet, totally in the past as far as this kind of activity, or lack of activity, is concerned. The Pennell Learning Center helped put the roof on that. It was really tough to get any kind of overseer. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. The, the town supplies overseers to the political machinery and to the inspection. And you have to take, or you have a certain amount of latitude, but you're supposed to take the overseers they supply. <laughs> so, Vander Barbara, I was still in good graces despite the trouble I got in. And, uh, I was a uh, building. Hi! Building guy. A building overseer. And I had lots of buildings, and finally I just left town. Threw it all, threw my hands up because of some murders. And that's what they said. This is one of the buildings. This is a Hillier building going up with all kinds of problems. In college, they told me. And well, Jansen, Professor Jansen, very well versed in New York ways. He said there are a lot of murders associated with the building industry. And I would probably somehow be dragged in to that mess. Okay, here's the Presbyterian Church. <coughs> and there's here are a few more houses that could be renovated. If you can find the owners, you can get a good price for them. And let's get back and take a look at the Paul Robeson in progress. They have a beautiful in progress sign. Princeton Design Guild, they're doing well, doing a great job. I can tell. And we've made it as far as the as the Arts Center, the Arts Council building. Okay, so let's straighten out again. And soon we will be on the university side of Wiggins Robeson Place. And that's a big, big split on the other side. Nothing except the police for the students. There's nothing except drugs in the police station. And on the, uh, on this side, there are a lot of restaurants. We got a few people on Heinz Plaza today taking advantage of the beautiful weather. Small groups of three or so. I think they're allowed, they're allowed to uh, go up to 10, but I'm not sure. Don't, because every state is different. That's how they want it. The government wants to basically open up the country and then give any restrictions that might apply back to the states. 
Okay, so Olives is open apparently. Okay, and Mamoons is open. So it's not a total ghost town today on Thursday. So let's just keep on keeping on. Small world is closed except for pickups of bulk coffee. My idea is that they could get those window holders and remove the windows during the day and put in pickup windows. And a lot of them could do this. A lot of the retailers could do this and do a good business as long as people stand back and don't go actually into the building or into the store retail space. They could pick up. They could even make orders, store orders from home and then pick them up. Okay. Remember, this is the great pandemic of 2020. So nothing is as it was ever, nor as it will be ever after this is all done. Okay, let's not talk about my, my past. Here's the church, Nassau Presbyterian, where my, the owners of the cemetery, where my family is, my, is buried, the ones that are buried here. And this is the president's house, beautiful. And apparently we do have a coach going to New York. So I could do a, some sort of tour of New York too. And it would be added to the, and there it is, glorious Nassau Hall. Nassau Hall. Okay. So we're up to Nassau Street. And it's a downhill coast from here. And you can see every store is closed as we cruise on down the slope here to Wiggins and Washington. It's not Wiggins actually, it's Van Devender. Goes into Wiggins. Van Devender and Washington. Van Devender Avenue, okay? It's an avenue, not a road. And I didn't know any of the Van Deventers, but I'm sure there's still a few in town. And we touch base at the church and the chemistry building. Take a left in front of everybody as their jaws drop with my and there it is, the church. Very, very respectable church. Of course, I don't belong to any respectable church. But that is life. And men are doing their greatest. Okay, so this Saturday, apparently, if the weather holds and it stays beautiful, this Saturday will mark a huge break in the, uh, in the matter from when it seems just barely tolerable to when the essential crowds are entirely absent and it becomes apparent that the businesses are going to fail if they don't get any relief and if things don't change. So here we are. This is actually home sweet home. The graveyard, Princeton Cemetery. And, and here are some of the
very notable people. There's Wadsworth and of Princeton. He was a famous, famous enthusiast who did so many, so many Fourth of Julys and made Princeton an all-American place. And there's Sands, and he gave the money for the library. And there are the De Grazias, those little ones down there. He was a Pulitzer Prize winner, and they still consult him for matters of government. And I'm a kind of stand-in middleman in that matter. And we're back. We're back to the the Arts Council and shutting down. This is the very back of the uh, Palmer Square. I can't tell you, but that was one of my dreams.